welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today I thought I'd do a little bit of a color along with you guys. Um, Amanda Colors here on Instagram and um, here on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook and I are doing a color, on, color along out of the Chris Raniak's Frogs and Friends books. And for this month, um, I chose the picture and we chose this one because I'm also doing an ABC challenge, um, which for September is letter P, so I did for pencil. So if you wanna join us, um, all this information is on both of our Instagrams and our Facebooks. We would love to for you to join us. So I thought I'd color mine with you guys today. So I'm gonna show you the colors. I'm gonna base it with alcohol marker and then I'm going to go over it with my polychromos. So for my markers, I have, uh, I'm using all of Hoo-Hoo's. I have GY4, which is yellow green. I have GY5, which is absinthe. I have Y030, which is lemon chiffon. I have Brick Beige E210 and Shadow Pink RV270. And the beige is for the this part of the pencil, the pink is for the eraser. I need to get a gray. I forgot to get a gray. So if you don't mind just giving me one second. Okay, so for the gray, I found um GG3, which is a green gray three. Um, and for my polychromos, um, to go with the browns, I have, let's see if I can read them, 179, I have um, Bistre or Bistre, B-I-S-T-R-E, I have, um, and 183 light yellow ochre. For the pink, I have... Uh, Rose Carmine 124 and Salmon 130 um, for the yellow of the pencil. I have Cream 102, Naples Yellow 185, and Dark Naples Ochre 184. And then for my greens for the frog, I have Earth Green Yellowish, 168. Permanent Green Olive, 167. And Chrome Oxide Green, 278. So those are the colors that I have. I'm gonna turn this on and see if this helps. A little bit, there we go. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna start with the frog. I'm gonna start with the yellow. What is it? This is GY4 Yellow Green, so if you're coloring with me which feel free to color with me. We're gonna start with the yellow green. Now, um, I've learned with alcohol markers that you don't want to let it dry because if you let it dry before you keep going, that's when you see the streak marks. So I like to stay within the lines as best I can so that I don't get um, lines. So then it looks smooth. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So I love these books. Um, the website where you can get these is bindlewood.com. He does have a brand new book out, um, a Halloween one, which um, I have not gotten. I believe it was pre-order. I don't know if it's actually, you can buy it yet. That I don't know. But, um, I'm not sure. I want to wait and see if other people get it and see flip-throughs. Because I'm not big on, like, creepy type stuff. So, if it's creepy Halloween, I'm good with cutesy Halloween, but not creepy. Um, let me know in the comments below what you, your guys is, if you guys like more of the 
um, gory, scary Halloween coloring books, or if you're like me and like the cutesy. Like for cutesy, I'm meaning um, like my cup of tea is Alexandra Frenzies. Her um, her new one is cutesy. Uh, with it's I forget what it's called. I'm having a brain moment. But her other one is cute and spooky. Um, I think it's spooky vibes. I think is the new one. If I'm correct. But yeah, so I'm just gonna color him the whole thing. I'm gonna color it with this, the lighter green. And then I am gonna do a little bit of shadowing with the darker green, I think. We'll see how it turns out. I made um, a purchase and I'm excited about it. I'm getting, for the first time, um, I'm getting the Derwent Ink Tense pencils. Now, I'm not a watercolor person, so we shall see if I like them or not. I want to like them. I love how everybody else uses them and how they turn out. And I feel like I could follow along on more color alongs here on YouTube because a lot of people use those on their color alongs. So I am in desperate need of some video ideas. Um, I do eventually want to show you my craft space, or well, my craft room, which I should say, it's very crowded. I'm working on getting it perfected. Um, right now it just looks like a big mess. But I really want to get that out to you guys before the end of this month. Um, I have a um, seasonal tag coming up that Amanda Colors and I created. That one should go out Friday. Um, we decided to do it seasonal instead of fall because I'm in the Northern Hemisphere where it's fall is coming. But she is in Australia in the Southern Hemisphere and they're getting ready for spring. So that way, if I say seasonal, then if you guys wanna join us in this tag, you can, you know, do what season you're, where you live, spring or fall. I will be doing fall, like I said. So it's gonna be about 10 questions and I will be coloring a fall picture while I answer the questions. And there's the green, he's so cute. So how is everybody doing? I'm okay. Um, went on a trip. I just got back. My husband and I went to Texas. Um, we used to live there. Um, well, we start, I was born and raised in California. And then my husband's job, he got transferred to Texas. So we lived there and then he got transferred back, which was in my opinion, a God thing. Cause that's when, you know, my mom got sick and I was here to take care of her and to be here. So that was a blessing. Um, So we went back because he had a conference to go to over there and um, we got to visit some friends and eat yummy food. Um, one of my favorite places there is called Babe's Chicken. I don't know if any of you have heard of that. We had that on our first night. It is so yummy. It's a, it's a family style kind of a place. Um, but yeah, it's so yummy. So I'm just kind of going over the little shadow areas that he has already on here. Um, I will do more of them with my pencil, but I'm doing the darker ones with this marker. 
we went to a, a store that I'd never heard of, but I guess they're everywhere. It's called Shields. It's a sporting goods store. Wow, it's amazing. They have a Ferris wheel inside the store. It's pretty cool. Uh, they had all kinds of stuff. Um, I did get a little upset, though, because they do have this whole area of stuffed real animals. And some of the animals that they had made me sad. Especially, like, they had a lot of different baby animals. Why do we need to kill baby animals? I'm not a vegetarian, surprisingly. But I am an animal lover. Sometimes I don't understand why we have to kill such beautiful creatures. So that made me a little bit sad. But... Yeah. I think that's it. That, oh, maybe I'll go right here. With that. Yeah. So, did you guys do anything fun over the weekend? So now I'm going to color my pencil. I'm going to start with the yellow. I am going to turn this sideways. And this is a very light yellow. I didn't want it like bright yellow. I wanted it more of a creamy yellow. Because, yeah. I don't know. Pencils are kind of like the yellowish orangish color. I'm going for the traditional pencil. Look. Here we are. So let's see, what can I tell you? I can tell you a little bit about myself. I am married. I've been married for 14 years. My husband is amazing. Um, we do not have children. Um, I was not able to have them. So we decided, we tried for many years and by the time I was told, well, I had to have an emergency hysterectomy by that time as about, oh, how old was I? 38. And uh, we were pretty set in our ways. And so we just decided we would be animal people. We did have a dog at the time, too. We had sweet little Lucy. Um, but when while my mom was sick, she also got sick. And so I not only lost my mom, I lost my baby. So it's been hard. She was 12. So we had her for a long time. She was a Chawini, so cute. Um, I will put a picture of her right here so you guys can see how cute she was. Um, I loved her. She was a mama's girl. Um, eventually we will be getting another one. But not sure when that will happen. I am... Um, I like to, um, I'm very artsy, craftsy, so when you see my craft space, you will see that I'm not only into coloring. I mean, that's my thing right now, but I used to scrapbook all the time. Um, I do love jigsaw puzzles. Um, I like planning. Um, I, I, I like to draw. Maybe one day I'll have to draw with you guys. So there he is. All the base is done. And so now we are going to go over it with our pencils. And 
I'm going to sharpen. I forgot to sharpen, so give me one second. Sharpen pencil. So we're gonna go in these areas. Make it a little bit darker. I like to sing. I've been singing in church mostly and in school my whole life. Um, I can play the piano. Uh, I took lessons for many, many years. I played the flute, the clarinet, and then I was also in the drum line growing up. Um, yeah. Let's see. I don't know what else to tell you. Just following the lines. Um, I'm not using any sort of pressure whatsoever. So you guys know. Let's see. Um, there's some lines here and here and here <laughs> sorry I'm so quiet I'm concentrating Oh, I did have a question for you all. Would you like, um, I did my September setup in my coloring journal. Would you like to see, um, would you like that to be a monthly thing to set up with me or was the one time good enough? Um, yes, your comments and answers to my questions really help. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know what to talk about. I don't do much. Um, I'm not currently working. I um, worked in childcare most of my life. Um, I worked um, here in California. I worked at a preschool. I taught two-year-olds for over 20 years. And then when I moved to Texas, um, I do have an, a degree in accounting. Um, so I worked at a school as their um, accounts manager. So I did that, um, but I was not treated very well. So I did not stay. And then I went to another school. I went to a Christian school where, yeah. I told the truth on the phone to a parent and they wrote me up for doing that. So I didn't understand that. Um, so I wasn't going to be treated badly. Like I stuck my other job out for two and a half years and I was not going to do that again. So I decided... Um, I'm not going to do administration anymore. It wasn't worth it. I'm good with kids and babies. So I went back into the classroom. 
but this time I did infants and I loved it. It was great. Babies are amazing. It is hard on me because I wanted to be a mom really bad, but now I'm dealing, dealing with it. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Giving it a little bit of, as Pamela on, Pamela on Pamela's Passion for Pencils, she says, depth and dimension. If you haven't ever checked out her channel, you should check out her channel. Um, I will, um, any channels I mention, I will always put in the description box below. She has some great tutorials and reviews. All right, now we're our next color. That was our darkest green, which was, excuse me, was Chrome Oxide Green 278, and this one is Permanent Green Olive 167. So we're gonna bring out the dark into the light. Again, no pressure, hardly. Very light pressure. I'm sorry if I'm covering it, I'm trying not to. I was looking on Amazon um, for fall coloring books and I didn't find too many. Um, a lot of Halloween, but not really any like just fall. So if you have any recommendations, you could leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. turning out so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'll probably add um, the glossy accents to his eyes. I can do that with you all on here. If you, um, I might do that with you guys here. So you can see how I do it. I've had people ask me how I do my glossy accents. Um, anybody watching any good TV shows right now? I am watching, um, I'm not into the drama TV shows right now because, I don't know, everything makes me cry right now. So I've been watching, um, let's see, I'm watching all like the crime TV shows. I did Bones, I did Criminal Minds. I did Rizzoli and Isles, and now I am watching The Closer, and I love it. She's so cute. She's funny. Chief, Chief Deputy Johnson. Um, my husband and I, when we watch TV together, we recently finished The 100. Yeah, that was good. Got kind of cheesy towards the end of the seasons, though. Um, we watched the first two seasons of 
the flight attendant. I don't know if you've heard of those. Those are, they're good. Very, very good. Different though, very, very different. Um, and we watched the first episode of House of Dragons. We did watch Game of Thrones a while back, but I don't know if he's gonna watch it. I might have to watch it by myself. But we're currently, um, he's a big fan of the Discovery Channel. We're currently watching Naked and Afraid. I can handle some of them. Some of them I cannot. <laughs> I could never do it. That's for sure. I don't I don't do bugs. And they get bug bites up the wazoo. No, thank you. And we personally like the longer one, the XL one, where they're there for 40 days instead of 21 days. Those poor people. Yeah. I don't know what season it is we're on right this second, but they're in the Amazon. And they've medically tapped out like half the people already. One guy slipped and fell and hurt his knee. Same with uh, one of the girls. Another guy got a, a an infection in his foot. So, crazy, crazy. I don't know if what I'm doing is making this frog look any better. I mean, you could just use the alcohol marker and leave it as is. But I wanted to give it him a little bit more oomph. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have a lot to talk about. Now I'm going to do the lighter green, which is earth green yellowish. So I'm going to try to blend it all out. Let's see if I can do that. So I do a little bit of harder pressure and then do a little light pressure as you go out. Looks good. I don't know if you can see that get blended out here yeah I'm liking the way it's looking I'm really behind on my coloring right now because I went on vacation I brought some with me but I didn't actually color my husband likes to go to bed early He's an early riser where I'm a night owl. I'm sure you guys have noticed my videos go up late at night. Um, and I'm one of those chickens. I don't like to film in front of him. So I wait till he goes to bed. Anyway, so when you're sharing a hotel room, I, don't, I can't go to a room in color being kind because you know I was just there for, along for the ride and he was actually working so I didn't want it to be you know I was being nice sorry if it's shaking the camera while I when I color Now, a lot of times I'll go back over it a second time, but I don't really, I might on some places, but I don't think it needs it on a lot of places. I 
like these polychromos. I don't use them very often. Um, I'm a big Prismacolor person. I'm trying and I'm trying to use all of my pencils. I have so many. And the one I just told you guys I ordered more. I'm gonna order um, while they're kind of on sale the Brute Furniture Squares. Um, some of mine are getting pretty small. I need to I need to get a backup set. It's not you know one that where you can just buy individual pencils like the Prismas and the Polychroma, the expensive ones because it's a budget friendly set. But. Yeah. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is taking the dark, bringing the colors together and bringing them up. Trying to blend it in. I'm gonna leave it, I'm not gonna speed it up, but I think I might um, put some music on because I don't know what else to talk about. If you have any questions for me, um, maybe for another color along, I could answer questions. You guys could leave some questions for me in the comments below. Um, or you could just comment, period. I just, I like getting comments, so. I think I said that in the last one. It's like getting a birthday present when I see comments. Huh. Crack myself up. I am... I do think I get to go to the beach in October. That's exciting. Huh. Anyway, I'll turn some music on.
a name the frog needs a name leave a comment down below if you can think of a good name um i hope there were some of you that colored along with me and i'd love to see them so if you wouldn't mind um when you see our hashtag which i'll put it down below um for some reason i am drawing a blank which is normal for me <laughs> i believe it is is hashtag frogs and friends color along and don't forget to tag amanda colors and disney makes coloring when you post them i am looking forward to all of your finished pages of your cute little frog sitting on a pencil and um if you're not subscribed already to my channel um please subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos and the thumbs up that you liked it. And I really, really appreciate all of you. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget, I also really love getting comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.